I'm Anil Kumar and here is an excellent example which will help you to understand how to apply co-function identities. So we are given sine of pi by 12 as 0 0.2588 and we need to evaluate cos of 5 pi by 12 and cos of 7 pi by 12. Let us try to understand the question. So what we are really given is uh, 7 pi by 12 that means dividing this pi into 12 equal parts we are given this position and let us say this angle is pi by 12 for us now 5 pi by 12 and 7 pi by 12 means this is going to be 6 pi by 12 is it okay if this is pi by 12 right so pi divided into this is 12 pi by 12 so that is pi is it okay so 5 pi by 12 is less than so kind of this position is it okay so that is 5 pi by 12 and 7 pi by 12 let me use a different thing will be on the left side kind of here right so that will be 7 pi by 12 for us right so that diagram gives you an idea as to how we should be solving this question right so what we can see from here is that cos of pi by 12 plus pi by 2 is actually equals to when you say cos of pi by 12 plus pi by 2 cos is in quadrant 2 cos is negative in quadrant 2 so this is equals to minus sine of pi by 12 is it okay now what is cos of pi by 12 plus pi by 2 it is really cos of uh, I mean pi by 2 is really if you multiply this the common denominator of 12 right so you get 1 and here you have to multiply by 6 6 plus 1 7 7 pi by 12 so cos of 7 pi by 12 is minus sine pi by 12 now since we are given sine of pi by 12 0 0.2588 we could write this as minus 0 0.2588 right so that is cos of 7 pi by 12 now let us also calculate what is cos of 5 by 12 minus pi by 2 I should say pi by 2 minus pi by 12. Pi by 2 minus pi by 12. Now since we are in quadrant 1, it should be equals to sine of pi by 12. Is it okay? Now cos of pi by 2 minus pi by 12 is 5 pi by 12, right? 6 minus 1. So that is equals to sine of pi by 12 and what we are given here is that sine pi by 12 is indeed equals to 0 0.2588 right so from here we get our answer and that is cos of 5 pi by 12 is equals to negative 0 0.2588 while cos of oh, that was 7 this is 7 and cos of 5 pi by 12 is equals to positive 0 0.2588, correct, as expected. So when we started, we had a clear idea that in quadrant 1, all are positive, right? So if you apply the cost rule, all are positive. So 5 pi by 12 is in quadrant 1. It should have been positive. It is positive. 7 pi by 12 is in quadrant 2. It is negative. 0 0.2588. I hope with this you also understand how to really apply co-function identities and find the values. Thank you.